Hi friends, welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And I have a confession to make today because sometimes I don't always know where my projects are going. I'm going to be working on a Halloween display today and so far this is all I have. So let's see where this goes. The first thing I want to do is make some more eyeballs and to do that I'm going to be using aluminum cans. If you've seen some of my other projects you know I've used a lot of the side pieces of the aluminum can so I've collected quite a few of the bottoms and tops from all of my other projects and for each eyeball you need two bottom pieces and one top piece. I'm using a pair of scissor tin snips to cut the bottom pieces so that I'm just left with the little domed piece and then I cut a tiny notch in one of the pieces. Next I'm using a shish kebab skewer and some hot glue to attach the two domed pieces together with the skewer sandwiched in between. There are some rough edges left on the can pieces and you can see that there are some gaps between where the two pieces are sandwiched together. So I'm going to be using some metal tape to cover up those edges. To do this I'm just using my rotary cutter and a metal ruler to cut eight of an inch wide strips of tape to cover the gap. I wanted to have several sets of eyeballs so I repeated that process a few times. Once I had all my pieces assembled I spray painted them with some white spray paint and added some eyeball stickers that I had printed out on my inkjet printer. Because my display is going to be outside, I wanted to seal the ink on the printer paper, so I used my DecoArt DuraClear gloss varnish. Now I just want to note that that isn't the best product to use on inkjet ink, but if you're extra careful and don't brush the product on, you just kind of dab it gently on, you can keep it, the ink from smearing. To finish the eye shape, I used the top of the can, and the first step is to carefully bend the ring into more of an oval or eye shape. For the eyelash version, I removed half of the metal from the ring and then cut tiny little slits in the remaining metal to make the eyelashes. And for the plain eye version, I removed all of the metal from the ring. To finish the eyelashes and eye shapes, I added a coat of black spray paint and then attached the pieces together with E6000 glue. If you're enjoying today's content, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, check that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll want to click the bell icon so you can select your notification preferences. For this next project, I used a scrap piece of wood and I gave it a quick sanding and then added my simple paper towel painting technique. If you'd like more information on this technique, I did a full tutorial, which I will link to in the description box. This project was also sealed using the DecoArt DuraClear gloss varnish. To finish this project, I found these fun metal cutout words at the Dollar Tree. And I added this old rusty chain from my metal stash. For my last project, I went back to the aluminum cans, and for this project I'll be using the flat sheets. If you'd like to know how I flatten aluminum cans for my projects, you can find the link to that tutorial in the description. I needed bigger sheets of aluminum for this project, so I used a metal ruler to fold the edges of two pieces to hook them together. I added a little bit of mounting tape and then pressed the folds flat to hold the pieces together. Next, I used a regular pair of scissors to cut around my templates and to stabilize the pieces and add a little bit of dimension, I embossed around the edges of the letters. To finish my yard sign, I again used my paper towel painting technique and the DecoArt DuraClear gloss varnish to seal the pieces. 
Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you'd like to receive notifications when I upload new videos so you never miss an upcycling tutorial. Also, if you'd like to check out more aluminum can projects or more Halloween projects, tap or click the screen now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.